Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Now, recently I unboxed and checked out and gave a semi-brief review of the very first 3D printer I have ever received before, and that was the Annette ET4. And I knew going in that, you know, it was uh, cheaper and everything, so probably wouldn't be, you know, the most amazing printer. But I didn't expect to have all of the issues that I had with that. And as a result, I've actually gone out and got my own 3D printer, learning from what I had with that one, what I would look more for in a printer. And I have ordered the Monoprice, uh, it is the MP10. So this has a much larger print base on it. And it's got some extra features in it that help with the bed leveling, things like that. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this unboxed, get it put together, and run through a few test prints over the next few days, and then uh, report back towards the end of this video and let you all know what I think of this one. And I mean, if it's great, obviously it'll be great and I'll keep it. If it's not great, well, I'll just send it back and get my money back and look for something else. But at least this is something that I chose, something that... I think will be much better for what I am wanting to use it for, and we will find out. But before we do, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell so you can alert every time I get a new video coming out. And with that, let's dive into this extremely tall box. I am a tall man. This is a tall box. So, I'm going to get this unboxed, and we're going to take a look at what all is in here. I wasn't kidding. This box is massive. It fills beyond the frame. I mean, I am zoomed in, but it fills beyond the frame. So, look, there it is. There's a printer in there. And I think there's some other stuff as well. Let's take a look. Hmm. I thought I saw an envelope of something. It probably fell further in. Let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up. And pull that out. There we go. Hey, look. There's stuff in the box. All right, stop. Read this before unpacking. Whoops. Okay, let's open this up. And I don't care if you can read it. I'm going to turn it so I can read it. Read this before unpacking your printer. Do not return to the reseller. Uh, return it to Monoprice Technical Support. Well, I bought it from Monoprice, so that's awkward. Don't return it to Monoprice. Return it to Monoprice. Let's see, and here is the instructions, and I am probably, just by nature of what this video is, uh, going to make a lot of comparisons to the last 3D printer video, and what came with that. Um, first thing, this isn't broken English. Um, that's nice. You got introduction, tells you all kinds of cool stuff, it's not a bunch of random cards, tells you what all the different pieces are, look at, mm, fancy, it's got images with actual explanations all right okay so this is the installation cool okay so i'm gonna get this unpacked the rest of the way and get this put together and y'all can enjoy some uh time lapse for that how's that sound all right here we go
All right, so it has been several days since the last part of this video where I got the uh, Monoprice MP10 all set up and I was going to just do some test prints on it and then go from there. But honestly, I decided to just dive right in because the setup for this thing was so stinking easy to do. The instructions were actually very legible, very easy to follow. So I just dove right in and I got to say, I've already put uh, like 35 hours of print time onto this thing. I printed all kinds of things like this stuff right here. It just looks like random little parts and stuff right now, but this is this uh, really cool like like lift mod pod whatever it was called. It's a uh, camera mount thing. There's a bunch of pieces and it's so cool because I mean yes it's 3D printing and I get the concept but it's still really cool to see something print with actual threads and like actual like nuts and bolts and tools and all kinds of stuff. So this thing prints amazing. I did the auto level one time on it. I have moved it between locations multiple times and never had to level it again since. The magnetic board on this thing or the uh, magnetic print bed that you can just pull right off, you just kind of like give it a bend, all the stuff snaps off the bed, good to go. I have had zero need to use any kind of wraps or anything like that. There's a couple things I printed with supports, they printed perfectly fine. I did print stuff with wraps and without. Everything worked great. I have had no printing errors of any kind and it uses the Cura software. It does have to use Cura version four uh, and the newest version, I think they just came out with version 4.12 because the profile for this printer is apparently only in version four. It's not in the newer versions and it's not in older versions, only in that version. So I thought that was a little strange and I'm sure I could just copy the profile and put it into the new version, but that was just a little weird to me. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be in there, especially since it's still a very active printer that is constantly sold by Monoprice, but whatever. Version four still works great. It's not janky at all. And I mean, it's a great little software for slicing everything together. And I have done, like I said, tons of different print jobs on this already. I've made all kinds of cool little trinkets and stuff like that. I printed out everything that, that actually just finished before this clip of the video to be able to make this new camera mount so I could get some really cool angles with it. And the thing is just awesome. It works fantastic. Now, I do want to say and add, I guess, an asterisk uh, for the other video that I did where I reviewed the Annette ET4. Now, I slammed the hell out of that printer because no matter what, the instructions, they're still complete trash. But, however, since that video, um, I have talked to Gary from Rock Solid Productions and he got his in, the busted part that he had, uh, he got the new part ordered and everything. Still, he never heard from support, so that's lame. But he got the new, uh, uh, the new Bowden tube stuff and his printer has been working perfectly. He got the exact same one, the Annette ET4. And it works great. He hasn't had any issues with the laser head slamming into the glass. He hasn't uh, had any major leveling issues. And he's been printing all kinds of stuff just like I have with this MP10. So I have reached out to the company and uh, seeing if they are willing to swap out my ET4 for another one since there must clearly be something majorly defective with this one if the head is like slamming into the glass. Like it's not just like touching the glass and bouncing off. Like say the glass bed is right here, it then tries to go even further. Like it sounds like it's gonna crack the glass. So it must just be that something is wrong with mine. And you know what? Still, that's the one that I got. That's the one that I reviewed. That particular one was a piece of crap. So hopefully they reach back out to me and if they do and I get another one and it's a different situation, I will absolutely release an updated video with my updated thoughts on that printer. But as far as the Monoprice MP10, this printer is phenomenal. Yes, it's 350, but in the grand scheme of things, that is pretty darn cheap for printers, especially one of this size. It has a 300 by 300 by 400 print area, and that is absolutely massive. You could print really big stuff with this, and it works great. 
it is absolutely phenomenal. I even, uh, just in the mail today, I, I got some new white filament. I got some glow-in-the-dark filament. I still have my spool of the black filament. So I'm going to start printing up and doing all kinds of cool and crazy stuff. And yeah, this printer is great. I would highly recommend it to anyone. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can order through other websites and third-party vendors and stuff like that. I ordered mine directly through Monoprice at monoprice.com. Now, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I paid for this with my own money, did my own research on it. They had no idea I was doing a review, and I don't even know if they'll ever see this review. But my review is very good of this printer, and I really think that if you want one, and you got a few hundred bucks that you can spend on, it's not a bottom tier printer. I would say it's like low middle tier. It's not the best of the best. It doesn't do like dual extrusion or anything like that, but it's a great printer. I mean, that that's really all there is to say about it. So if you're looking for a printer and you got some money to put into it, I highly recommend the Monoprice MP10. Now, with all of that being said, I hope you all liked today's video. And if you did, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know, do you do any 3D printing? What kind of printer do you use? I hear a lot of people talk about the Prusa and the Prusa Mini. I also hear a lot of people talking about the Ender 3. I've never personally used any of those, but I do hear good things about them. And I'm curious, do any of you have a monoprice printer? I have used the Voxel, which is a big enclosed one. Works really well, but it has a very small print bed, like 150 by 150 by 200, I think. Uh, and then you all know how I feel about the Annette ET4, uh, but the MP10, huge print bed, works great. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please be sure to also hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell. That way you get alert every time I've got a new video coming out. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.